Ladies, Hello. three things from the weekend, our video version, as we get to highlight some of the stuff that uh, both myself and Jess had done, uh, not only just here in the Hudson Valley, but all across the wonderful state of New York. Yes. And uh, how this works is Jess is going to read to you two sets of three things. I'm right here. Your job is to figure out which one of us two idiots did which set of three is who's person one, who's person two. Right. Take it away. Person one, walked at Locust Grove, watched the movie Gremlins, played in a wiffle ball tournament, Person two saw a dead bear, hung out on a boat, and experienced scary weather. Which one of us do you think did which set of three? Who's one, who's two? If you guess that I was person one, she was person two, you'd be a winner. I'm proud Congratulations. of you. I'm proud of you. So you saw a dead bear? Saw a dead black bear on the side of the road on 87, I believe. It was a little past That's Ulster a throughway, right? County. Yeah, yeah, a little past Ulster County. I think we were heading into the Albany area because okay. we had to stop, make a stop in Albany before we went up. And uh, yeah, it was, we were, we were, there was three of us in the car and we were all like, is that a dead bear? And then I looked back because I was the backseat driver. Okay. And I'm like, that was definitely a dead bear. You didn't stop and get a quick selfie with the carcass? No, I would want to see a live bear. Well, you never know because we may, you know, do a contest coming up. Show us your dead bear. I would win. Oh, wait, we're doing show us your bass. We're on fish now. Fish now, maybe bear later. Okay. I hung out on a boat. I ended up going up to Lake Sagandaga. Spell it for me. Uh, S. Never mind. S Gin Gaga. A C A N D A G A. Is that anywhere near Shenandoah? Maybe. Hoa. Shenandoah. Oh yeah, there you go. Can't even say it right. But yeah, hung out on a boat on Saturday. It was great. I got a little tan. It was. That's all I really wanted. Okay. Just sit out in the sun. Right. And then after the boat, we went up back to the house, and it's in the middle of the woods. We're in, we're you know we're at a cabin-ish type deal. Okay. And it's surrounded by trees, and all of a sudden at six thirty. The wind just picked up. Like, I thought there was a tornado. You know Ryan Finn, our weatherman? Yes. I texted him. I'm like, should I worry about a tornado right now in Saganaga? He's like, no, what's wrong with you? You're by a lake? I was like, <laughs> what's wrong? I don't know. Don't you live in Beacon? <laughs> then, all of a sudden, the trees are swaying. You know those animal those those inflatables that go like this outside of the car dealership Mom, don't you know that the the trees are dancing that's what they were doing They're they were doing all of this and then all of a sudden i look up the hell's going boom, on? assaulted by a branch that just hit me in the face and i said that's it i'm going inside i saw a big branch fall the power flickered out i have never been so scared in my whole entire life wait a second can you start dancing like that tree again let me be the branch. <laughs> it was scary. It was a small branch. It had a little leaf on it, but I exaggerate. Yeah, but, as you know. Well, you know what? That's that's okay. That's why we love you. That's my life. I, uh, I walked Lo uh, Locust Grove with my kids on Saturday. If you're looking for a good workout and you want to walk and sweat, Locust Grove, it looks beautiful. Like 15 miles. It looks great from the road. <laughs> I didn't realize it goes back for like 80 miles. Back and down. So my kids and I walked uh, walked all the way out. The Lane Loop was the uh, trail that we filed, followed at Locust Grove, oh, yeah. which was the long one. It was it was gorgeous. If you're looking for a place to hike, I'm trying to hit every spot here in the Hudson Valley. And if you know of a hiking spot that I would enjoy with my two, my two youngest kids, Juliana and Jackson, leave a comment in the uh, comment section below. I, I made the mistake as a father... Um, not for the first time, because I've done this before when it comes to movie selections. When I have my kids on the weekends, uh, we did a wiffle ball tournament, which I wound up being the uh, designated pitcher and didn't the get worst. to hit it all, which I'm the still worst. mad about with my kids. Anyway, I pick a movie for us to watch on Friday nights and Saturday nights. After we do everything during the day, we sit down as a family. I make popcorn and we watch movies. Mm -hmm. So on Friday, we watch The Goonies. Okay. So my, my kids that. were so impressed with my movie selection that they're like, Dad, you can pick the movie tonight as well, Saturday night. So I'm like, you know what movie I remember was really good was Gremlins. Big mistake. Huge. Uh, my Huge. daughter's 14. My son, Jack, is nine. And I think my son is still having a hard time sleeping because of Gremlins. What Gremlins is it? Do they come out of the toilet at one point? I don't think in the first... I think that may have been Gremlins 2. Because that scarred me for life. Yeah. I'm still scared. Uh, I apologize to my son, Jack, for you know showing him... Because I looked at his face when they started to... When they put into like the cocoon thing mm -hmm. in, the, in the kid's attic. And I'm like, wait a second. This is kind of scary. I look over and my son is like this. And then they hatch and he's like... I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, oh that's the go-to I'm scared move. Did, was Julie scared? 
I don't know. She played it off well. Uh, I she think she. Her phone the whole yeah, time. yeah. She was looking down at her phone and then looking I do that up. Too. Yeah. I uh, apologize I to, to my kids and am telling you all of this in our three things from the weekend video. So you parents that have children that are under like 15, don't make the same mistake I did. My parents showed me the birds when I was eight and that really did a number. Yeah. <laughs> I'm terrified of birds. Can you do us one favor before we go? Can you please dance like that tree again? <laughs> they call it the Jess tree. Guys, thanks for watching three things Bye. from the weekend. Have a great uh, rest of the week. We yeah. uh, will talk to you guys on the radio. Bye.